Okay, so welcome to this video again. This is going to be another video on simultaneous equations. Again, one linear and one quadratic, okay? Uh, so here's our linear one, here's our quadratic one. The question is this time not to find the points where they intersect, but to find if they do intersect or not, okay? And the way we do this, well, I got to work through it and I'll show you how we do it, okay? Uh, so again, we're going to get, look at our linear one first. We want to get y equals to everything else. We want to y in terms of the other variables. So I'm actually going to do, uh, so we're going to go minus y is equal to 5 minus x, then I'm going to put x over the other side, it's going to be negative, uh, and then I'm going to multiply by minus 1, we're going to get y is equal to minus 5 plus x, and I'm just going to tie that up right in a nicer way, y is equal to x minus 5, okay? So that's the way we're, so th that's this just simplified in a different way, so now we can say x minus 5, is equal to x squared plus 5x plus 1 because y is equal to x squared plus 5x plus 1 and y is equal to x minus 5 so we can let them equal to each other okay um, okay so we have x squared plus 5x plus 1 is equal to x minus 5 that's going to give us x squared plus 4x so when we bring this x over it'll be uh, negative we're going to end up with 4x over here and this and it's going to be plus six is equal to zero okay so and again we have a quadratic here so we want to find the solutions to the quadratic the roots of the quadratic and that'll give us the crossing points of our uh, curve and our line okay so sorry again it's a little sketch but just to show you the idea and we're looking for the crossing points where the line and the curve meet okay but the question does ask at the start it says find the or find if it does if the two lines do intersect okay so i'm going to write that do they intersect okay so if they do tell us that they do intersect and they want us to find what the intersection points are, we'll go ahead and we'll solve this. But since they ask, do they intersect? There's a quicker way of doing it instead of trying to actually solve it. So if we think back now, a few videos when we were talking about the roots of quadratic equations, we looked at b squared minus 4ac, okay? And we said if it's greater than zero, that it has two roots. And if b squared minus 4ac is equal to zero, it'll have one root. And if b squared minus 4ac is negative, or if it's less than zero, it'll have zero roots, okay? So bearing that in mind, as long as it has, as b squared minus 4ac is greater than or equal to zero, the two lines will meet. Because if we think back to our curve here, that basically means that if b squared minus 4ac is greater than or equal to zero, it's either going to hit it once, or it's going to hit it twice. There's going to be two roots, or there's going to be one root. And that's the same for this equation right here, okay? So since this is basically a mixture of this linear equation and this quadratic equation, if we look to solve it, it'll basically act as the, the same way as this does. If b squared minus 4ac is greater than zero, that means there'll be two roots, and we know that means the line and the uh, curve will intersect twice. If there's if it's equal to zero, then there'll be one root, which means it'll intersect only once. And if it's negative or if it's lower than zero, then there's going to be zero roots. So a quicker way, instead of actually trying to solve it, is we just look at b squared minus 4ac for this example here, and that should tell us do they intersect or not. So I'm just going to go ahead and erase this stuff here, and we'll go ahead. So remember, bear that in mind. And I'll write them down one more time, just so we don't forget. Let's go every last bit. So you'll see this coming up quite a lot, b squared minus 4ac, and to see if they intersect or not, okay? Uh, just put that back to normal size, and we'll go orange, okay? So I'm just going to write it up here, b squared minus 4ac greater than or equal to. So we're going to be looking at inequalities, and we'll see exactly what that sign means. So if it's greater than or equal to, that means, okay? So this is a is equal to 1, b is equal to 4, and c is equal to 6, okay? So b squared minus 4ac is equal to uh, 4 squared minus 4 by 1 by 6, okay? Uh, this is going to be 16 minus 4 by 6 is going to be 16 minus 24 is going to be minus 8, 
Okay, this isn't greater than or equal to zero. It's actually less than zero because it's negative, which means let me scroll down and I'm going to write it in green. So I'm going to say the lines uh, x. Okay, now I've forgotten what the lines are. X minus y is equal to five. Well, it's the line technically, actually, and the curve. I'm just going to keep it as the lines, and y is equal to x squared plus five x plus one. Do not intersect. Okay, and that's all because when we mix them together and we get our equation here, x squared plus four x plus six. The determinant of that, so this, they're called the determinant. Remember, b squared minus 4ac is less than zero. So it's not greater than or equal to zero. It's less than zero, it's negative, which means they don't intersect at all, okay? Hopefully that all made sense. Uh, have a look through the video and it should all make sense, hopefully. Uh, 